get some leather and hopefully have enough to finish. Oh, he got out. Nope. Hi guys and welcome back to the next episode of One Life and today we have a new project we are going to get into. Oh there's a chest here, Whack a Zombie by Brett and it says zombies got you down but it's time to stop their tricks and treat yourself to Whack a Zombie. Cost a diamond, it looks like a mini game but I'm not falling for it because it's not a mini game it's actually just a zombie grinder and I ain't interested in that but thank you for the invitation. So I was having a look through my lovely set of items and I was trying to think what could I look into and that's when I sort of thought that like this series I've really only had two sets of armor which was this one and then this one. I've not had anything else. We've never once like changed armor because you didn't need to when it's obsidian. I'm also just noticing my skin. Hold up a second. There we go. Ba bam. Looking much cuter. Much more Halloween. We're in the spirit of things. Although it's not a Halloween themed episode. Still got to get our spook on. It's the month of October. Means you're in spook mode. There we go, I'm just a little big pumpkin. Thank you to Pupper and a Cupper for making me this skin. It's super adorable. I love it. But again, put my armor back on because I don't want to die. So as I was saying, I realized I've only had this armor and the one I'm wearing. And it's a bit of a shame because there are quite quite a lot of different armor. So there's all this. You can make a muddy chest plate, an obsidian, nether fortress, stone, wood, gold, diamond, iron, and a chain. Now all of these are really cool. There's also like some hardened leather is also another one you can make. So my goal for today is to make all of the different armors and put them in a nice display. So I cleared out a big bit over there, got rid of my magic trees, I've collected a bunch of marble and green concrete to fit with the theme of my area with everything being a different colour and we're going to build a little area to put all of our armour stands and then we're going to go and collect the stuff we need to make them. So I'm wanting to do similar to Lizzie where she has rainbow armour. So I've got to think how many colours that is then. That's quite a lot of colours. Oh goodness. Then what we'll do is we'll just build it and then whatever we have space left we'll put in colors that sounds about right so i need the area to be one block and then i want to put sheets of glass in front of it so it's kind of like a museum okay this should be long enough and it needs to be two out so that, that could go in and I think I want to do it on either side so they're like facing each other. Maybe it doesn't need to be this long. Because if we've got diamond, oh I could do a space in between. Yeah, we're doing a space in between. Look at me coming up with ideas. So there's the base shape. Now I've got this concrete and I'm trying to decide if I want it to be in bricks or if I just want it to be plain concrete. I think I might just do plain concrete to be honest. I think the smooth texture looks pretty cool. See, I have a feeling I might need to make it one higher. Let's hope I have enough concrete to go around one higher. <laughs> Gonna be sad if I don't. There we go, with eight to spare. Perfect. So now we just need to, oh no, oh I thought I'd just sprinted off the wall. We need to figure out what roof to put on this. The shaders in here makes it look a bit odd, but it'll be fine. I wonder if this paper wall could work as a floor. Let's give it a try. We need some paper and some sticks. Do you look okay as a floor? Yeah, I'm down. Hopefully this will be enough so we can hollow out the middle and put this down as like a floor for a path. I actually quite like this. There we go. Now I need to make a bunch of armor stands and then I need to get some glowstone and put them in as pillars of light. Okay, I was going to do glowstone. Turns out I don't have a lot. What other blocks can I make that light up? <laughs> I would have said sea lanterns, but I don't have any. I'm not going back to the nether. We learned that the hard way. What about anti-block? Hmm, I could maybe make some of that. It doesn't give off light though, which is sad. Let's try and make some factory blocks and we'll work with that. I'm sure there's something I can do. Something that will look cute. So while that is smelting, I'm going to make myself some armor stands so that I am ready to put the armor onto the display unit. Oh yeah, it's 11. I don't think it's enough yet. Okay, so that's me got the factory blocks. Now I want to get my chisel and see what they look like. Okay, these are cool. The orange ones. Let's go and see what these look like in here. Still have no idea what I'm going to do for the roof. I will decide that eventually. But I'm wanting these like that. Oh, they look cool. They also make cool metal noises. Maybe I need one more. They kind of look like orange and white candy canes, but made of metal and probably won't taste as nice. 
Okay, so the armor stands are going to go along like this. I suppose I could put a lantern or something above all of them. Let's go and see what lanterns or such the deco bench has that I could use. See, I'd have made these, but it costs glowstone dust and I don't have glowstone dust. <laughs> Guess we're just gonna have to use torches for now because I don't want mobs spawning in there. Actually, torches could work because if I put a block along here so you can't see them anyway, that should be fine. I think I'm gonna get more marble. I think marble's probably the best bet, which means I need to go and mine more. Lissai. Eventually. Okay, so now the hut is finished. So you come inside, you've got all the different armor stands, you've got a roof on it. It's taller on the outside than it is on the inside, mainly because I didn't need like the wasted space, so I just put a block above to make the roof lower. And now we get to the fun part of making the armor. So we're going to start with the different armor, ignoring the colored leather at the moment, and see what we can work with. So I am going to leave that armor there because it's my first armor of the series, but everything else is pretty much free game. We've just got to go for it. I also need to empty my inventory because it's just a mess. Okay, so we'll start with generic. We'll make some iron armor, you know, the basics. And then we'll make some good old fashioned butter armor, as it was called in the good old days. Now, diamond armor, I don't want to. It's gonna make me so poor. <laughs> Let's see what other ones we can do first. We can do wood. I've got wood. And then stone is cobble and normal stone. So I'll take some cobble and there should be some smelted stone. And then, oh wait, it's compressed stone. Dang it, compressed stone is a pain in the backside. I think I might still have some somewhere. From when we had to make the obsidian armor, I made too much, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's some, okay. So we need stone helmet and then we're gonna need stone chest plate stone boots i need more compressed stone and stone leggings more compressed stone okay there we go so i'm gonna go and shove all this into this stuff and see what it looks like on the armor stands and then we can continue so i think we'll start with some wood armor over here and then stone then i also want to leave a space for there will be mud armor as well gotta shove on our iron Okay, so let's see what else we've got. We've still got to make leather and then we've still got to make the hardened leather one. Well, let's go check how much leather we have in our chest and then we'll know if we need to kill cows. Oh, we have a stack. We might not. Let's try and make the hardened leather though first. Hardened leather is just a bunch of that, which is leather and pressed wax. Now, I planted some candle berries, which is where you get the pressed wax from, and I'm hoping that it's grown a little bit. This is it. How do I turn candle berries into pressed wax, though? Oh, I need so much for so little. Oh, no. It doesn't like there. It must be too dark. Um, we'll just shove a torch somewhere. I can't. Okay. What about that? I think I'm going to need to go to the spawn shops and buy some bones from Lizzie so that I can just mass produce it because I don't think I have any more bones. No. Right, I'll take my diamonds. I've got some gold. Hopefully it's one of these two and we will see. Right, Lizzie, what do we have? Oh, you do have bones. Perfect. I bought a bunch. That should be enough. Right, I'm just going to spam it and collect a bunch. Okay, that should hopefully be enough. Probably won't be, knowing my luck. And now we need to make a pot, which is a stick, and some iron, which I have on me. So if I do that, make pot, make the wax. Oh, I'm not going to have anywhere near enough. We'll start by making like some of it. Make the chest piece and the boots. I want to make sure I can actually put this onto an armor stand first because it's quite unusual looking, so I'm not sure if it'll let me. And um, we'll put it on this side. Oh, it does. That looks cool. So I now know I'm going to need to use way more bones just to get what I need. Okay, so I've worked out I need 12 pieces and I've got seven. So I still need five more because that will make me the pants. And now I just need the helmet. Now, one of the other armor sets I can make is called Muddy Armor. And obviously, Muddy Armor, it's made of mud. 
Now, the biome that has a lot of mud in it is actually this one. I'm trying to think if there's anything closer with mud. Now, we're going to need to head here. So, that's fine. We will start on our adventure and we should make it there and back before the day's end. Hopefully. I do not want to get stuck out during a blood moon. That happened once and it almost ended in the end of the series. So, not up for that. I'm sorry, cow, but I am going to need to kill you because I may need more leather. So, goodbye. Oh, there's more. Yeah, I'm going to just kill all of these cows so it means I hopefully don't need to kill as many of mine. Almost there. It should just be the other side of these trees. It's this biome. Now just to find some mud. And there we are. There's some mud. So the mud armor is literally just mud balls, I'm pretty sure. Yep, just mud balls. So I should get maybe like a stack of these and that'll be more than enough. Oh, I forgot they only go in 16s. Honestly, what I have is probably enough. We'll head home. I am going to grab some swamp flowers though because these give cyan dye. And I like my cyan dye. Oh, there was some mud here. I maybe didn't need to scale the entire hill. But you know what? Mine is premium mud. High quality, high class. Going to make great mud armor. Okay, so we will go and add this mud armor to our display room. It honestly just kind of looks like leather armor. Just a bit drippier. That looks cool with them all in like display units. Now we just need more pressed wax and then we'll be done with the hardened one. Okay, I think that should actually be enough because we need five pieces of that to make ourselves the helmet and the hardened leather armor is done. Thank goodness. And now we're going to make the nether fortress armor, mainly because that one looks pretty cool. Helmet, which is nether fortress block, which is iron bars and nether brick. So I have some nether brick and I have a bunch of nether rack which I'm going to shove into a furnace to turn into nether bricks. And why do I feel like I've made iron bars before? Maybe I haven't on this series. I know I have on Harmony Hollow so maybe that's what I'm getting mixed up with. But okay so am I going to need nether fortress bricks on all of them? I need two, four, six and eight. I can only make four. I need to make more iron bars and then that should be the perfect amount. And I've ran out of nether brick. Gosh dang it. Did I take any nether brick fences? I didn't. I'm going to just need to smelt a lot of this and just wait for it to be honest. Okay, so now we have some more nether brick. I have made some of the stuff I need. Now we can get this nether fortress armor. I want to actually try this one on because it looks cool. Oh, that's cool. I like it. I mean, it's not my obsidian armor, but it's cool. It just has brick wall and I don't get what brick wall does. I guess we'll never know. So we're going to shove the helmet on there and then we can block that one off. I feel like the nether fortress one can go in this stand. Okay, so the only thing that was in there I'd said was chain mail, but I don't have chain mail and I think chain mail you can only find. So that's probably going to end up being a no-no, I imagine, um, unless someone else happens to have it Alaska round and see, but I don't think anyone does. So the only other one I can do is diamond, which at the moment I am not going to do because I do not have that amount of diamonds that I can afford to give up. If I gave up the diamonds I have, I would not be able to buy anything I need. So we're going to ignore that fact right now and make a bunch of leather armor because I want to dye all different colors. I think if I make five different colors. So let's make some cyan armor because I love me some cyan stuff. Then magenta. Magenta could look cute. And I'm going to need more leather because I've run out of it. But I'm going to pick in our two colors before I decide to go and get more. Let's do some light blue. And I need one more color. I'm thinking maybe green because we have some glow shrooms. Which I can turn into lime dye. And then if we shove that in there. Oh, and we also uh, just realized in that backpack, we have the black armor. So I can use that as well. That'll look good in a display. Let's go sleep and then we'll shove it all in. So that is the cyan and the black one in. I'm going to put, I think, the magenta one here. Um, just for a nice contrast. I just need magenta boots. And then I need three more armor stands for this side. Gonna take some wheat. We're going to go out to the farm, breed our cows, and then kill a bunch of them, get some leather, and hopefully have enough to finish. Oh, he got out. No. So I still needed the magenta boots, which will be the next thing I do. Gonna make a pair of boots for magenta, a pair of boots for red, a pair of boots for blue and a pair of boots for green. 
I think we'll put blue on here, green on here, red on here, and then magenta can have the bits, and then magenta can be sealed off. So I've still got another two spaces. I'll probably leave them in case I find other cool armor that I think could go out there or vice versa and such. But everything else looks really cool. I like having the leather colored armor, the iron, the gold, the stone, the wood, the different mud and leather and nether fortress. That looks pretty cool down here. See so you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of One Life. If you did, remember to leave a like. Comment down below if you think I should make more armor, what colors I should do and all the different stuff that you liked this episode and other ideas you have for future episodes. Remember to like, subscribe if you're new to the channel and I will see you all next time. Bye!